Thinking about a career in cybersecurity? Becoming a SOC analyst is one of the best ways to break into the field, in my opinion. In this video, I am going to show you why this role is such a strong starting point, the skills that you'll build, and how it can set you up for a long and successful cybersecurity career. If this is the first time we're meeting, hello, my name is Steven, and I've been working in cybersecurity for about nine years now, specifically within the security operations domain. On this channel, you'll find various videos about career guidance, lab walkthroughs, and SOC-related projects that you can tackle and put onto your portfolio. Becoming a SOC analyst is the path that I personally took, and while it may not be the only way in, it's one of the most practical and skill-focused entry points into the field. Let's walk through five reasons why starting a SOC analyst can be a smart move and what you can expect along the way. Reason number one, you develop an analytical mindset that essentially applies to any cybersecurity role. As a SOC analyst, you'll learn how to investigate alerts, connect the dots between seemingly unrelated data, and detect patterns that signal real threats. This type of thinking is the foundation for everything from threat hunting to digital forensics and incident response. If you enjoy solving puzzles and breaking things down step by step, then SOC work will sharpen those skills quickly. You don't just learn to spot what happened, instead you learn how to ask the right questions, dig deeper, and uncover why it happened. And those are the core skills that will carry over into any path that you choose later on. Reason number two, you get hands-on experience dealing with real threats in real time. As a SOC analyst, you'll be in the front lines or in the weeds, as some may say. You'll see phishing emails come in, you'll analyze logs using various tools like a SIM or EDR, and respond to attacks as they unfold across the network. It is one thing to read about attacks that are happening within our industry, and it's another thing entirely to investigate them in real time. So if you want to understand how modern attacks work and what it really takes to defend against them, there's no better place to start than on the front lines, aka as a SOC analyst. Reason number three, you get a real look into how security operations work. One of the most valuable things, in my opinion, about working in a SOC is the perspective that you gain into how teams actually detect and respond to threats. But keep in mind that not every SOC is the same. If you do work in a in-house SOC, your job will focus on protecting a single organization. You'll get to know their environment deeply, hopefully, <laughs> work closely with IT and other teams, and understand the business impacts of different types of threats. Whereas if you start in an MSSP, which is a managed security service provider, you'll be responsible for monitoring multiple clients and the pace is going to be a lot faster, the alert volume is higher, and you'll get exposed to a wider variety of tools and environments. The way I see it is that an in-house SOC will help you build depth because you are monitoring only a single organization, whereas an MSSP will help you build breadth. You have multiple tools and multiple clients. Now, both experiences are incredibly valuable and both can help you build the foundation you need to pivot into a specialized area later on. Reason number four, you learn how to communicate clearly under pressure. In a SOC, it's not enough to only know what happened. You need to also be able to explain it to others, sometimes quickly and oftentimes to people who do not have a technical background. You'll be writing investigation notes, updating your tickets, and sometimes reporting to senior leaders. And if you're able to clearly summarize what you found, what it means, and what action is needed, that is one of the most underrated skills in cybersecurity. And it is one of the first things that you'll start developing in a SOC role. Reason number five, it opens the door to multiple career paths. A SOC role doesn't lock you into just one track. It gives you the technical foundation and the investigative mindset to branch out to other roles. Some analysts might move on to a more specialized role like threat hunting, digital forensics, or incident response. Others might go into detection engineer, cloud security, or pivot into red team work. The key here is that you're building hands-on analysis skills, understanding attacker behavior, and learning how to detect and defend against new techniques. So let's recap what we went over today. Becoming a SOC analyst helps you with the following. Build an analytical mindset that transfers across cybersecurity, gain hands-on experience with real-world threats, understand how different SOCs operate, 
improve your communication and reporting skills, and lastly, open doors to a wide range of future roles. Being a SOC analyst isn't the only way into cybersecurity, but it is one of the most direct and practical ways to build real experience and grow quickly. So are you interested in becoming a SOC analyst? And if you are, I would recommend that you do check out my other videos on this channel. That is it for the video, and I hope that you found that informative. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.